Hello, Ben here, and welcome back to another video featuring the TID Radio TDH3. And this time, we're going to be looking at using the numeric keypad to access some of the menu functions and how to program a memory channel. So if you've watched my first look video featuring this, and I'll put a link in the description down below, you may remember that I said I wasn't quite sure um, how to use the uh, the numeric keypad as there was no function button like you'd see on there, say a Baofeng or a Quan Sheng. Uh, it turns out that the uh, the menu button does actually do that as well. So uh, it was a little bit confusing to be honest, because if I press the menu button, um, puts me into memory mode and we can use the keypad for direct access so if I push zero it'll give me menu zero and we can scroll up and down through the uh, menus as I sh demonstrated on the uh, on the first video so if I exit that and if I press menu and then one it should put me to the uh, squelch menu which is correct and obviously key one uh, tallies up with that so it says SQL on there come out of that again menu two should give me power there you go, so it does give me power. Uh, come out again, menu, and then three. Um, it's giving me power save mode, but that should put me into uh, the scan. But I think that could just be that it's gone to three because there is nothing programmed in the scan because I'm, I haven't actually programmed anything yet, but we'll, we'll try that at a, a later date. Um, it's cleared out of that, so four should be the steps. So if I press menu and then four, Sure enough, it's a st step because that is menu four anyway. Um, menu five would be, uh, or the button five says reverse frequency. So if I just go menu and scroll up to five, five is actually the backlight control in the menu. So if I wanted to direct access backlight control, and I knew it was memory five, and we're not in memory mode, if I press menu, menu and then five, it doesn't actually put me straight to that. What it does do is uh, reverse the frequency. So if it was a, uh, two frequencies in there, it would reverse it, indicated by the little R on the screen there. Um, so that was the first little confusing bit. So uh, to uh, unreverse the frequency, press menu and then five again, and that's uh, back to as it should be. Uh, let's try number six. So menu and then six. Let's exit that menu. Six doesn't seem to do anything, it's just still on uh, the previous menu that we were on. So, menu six should be uh, the beep on and off. Um, so, yeah, it hasn't, hasn't done that. So, it's a little bit confusing in that respect. Let's put that back to zero uh, just to avoid confusion. We'll exit that, and then uh, seven should be your Vox control. So, menu and then seven. Yep, that's taken us to Vox, which is as it is in the menus anyway. Exit that. Um, menu 8, so it'll remember that. Menu number 8 would be your timeout timer. So let's exit that. But um, button number 8 is where you switch on and off your FM radio. So if I press uh, the menu button or the Bluetooth button as it's shown on here, the blue button and then 8. There you go. You can see it's put us into um, FM reception mode. So to turn that off again, um, you then need to push menu and then 8 again which then turns off your uh, FM reception mode uh, likewise number 9 will do dual watch so press that uh, 9 uh, so yeah I'm not quite sure it's gone to that uh, dual watch on or off um, menu so uh, uh, that, that has worked and then let's try menu and then the hash key doesn't do anything menu and DTMF again doesn't do anything so um, yeah, that's how you use the uh, the numeric keypad anyway, so I've sussed that one out. So it's not as easy as it could have been. Uh, it was a little bit of confusion just with the way uh, the layout was, and hopefully I've um, explained that in a way that you understand. If not, I've just blown everyone's minds with that. But uh, yeah, it was uh, a little confusing, just to say the least. Uh, right, so to enter a, uh, a frequency into the memory then, so you can see uh, it's in VFO mode at the moment, so if I want a direct entry of frequency, so I'm going to put in 145500, uh, which is the um, UK's, well, it's a two metre calling channel here in the UK, I know in the States, and a lot of my viewers are stateside, you'll be going, oh, it's wrong, it should be 146500, but now here in the UK we use uh, 145500 as the calling frequency. 
or S20 as we used to call it. Um, so it's currently in VFO mode, so I'm going to press the menu button uh, and then I'm going to scroll up until I find, which menu is it? Uh, memory, so there we go, so I'm going to save that as memory channel 1. I'm going to press the menu button again. I'll press it to confirm it. Because I've turned the voice prompt off, it doesn't actually say confirm, obviously, because uh, I've turned the voice prompt off. So that's, that's the downside to turning off the uh, the voice, but I know that's now saved in there. So um, if I press exit, and we're still in VFO mode, so it's still showing the same, but if I now press the um, VFO or memory button uh, there, it'll change it over to channel mode, and you can see channel one is now 145. Uh, 500 so that's how to program a channel we can delete a channel by going to uh, menu 26 um, and I couldn't see any way of naming that channel uh, in here in the in the menus uh, but that's far easier to do that with the um, uh, with the Bluetooth so this is only going to be a quick short video um, We'll leave it there, and if you want to see how to program this with the uh, with the Bluetooth, uh, that'll be my next video. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description down below for that one. Uh, so if you're enjoying this and um, you want to stay uh, stay in touch for more, please hit the subscribe button and uh, the little bell notification, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Seven three.